What's up, everyone? Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show Style and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. As you can see from the title of this video, Carlos explains him not talking about revenge pee, and he addresses Sweet Tea from the show Married to Medicine after last week she went live on Instagram and said that Carlos should focus more on his shows because she hears that they are struggling. So before we get into these details, I ask that you all please hit the like button or the dislike button on this video. By hitting one of those buttons, YouTube will recommend this video to more people who enjoy conversing about love and marriage Huntsville. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. I would love to have you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And of course, the Copyright Act of 1976 says that my fair use commentary of these sound bites are allowed for criticism. All right, so in this first sound bite, we're going to get right into it. Um, Dr. Heavenly, she asks Carlos King about the revenge peak. And this is what he had to say. Carlos, I don't know what's going on. All I did was mention Martel Hope's name. And the people went in on me because all I said was, my experience with Martella, we've had heated conversations. You know this, right? He yeah. never aggressive with me. I felt like, you know, we could have went there. He didn't go there with me. And all I was saying was sometimes people get mad, things happen, and it's always three sides to every story. That's all I said about it. The people went in on me saying I was supporting Martel Hope. Now, can you give us a little skinny on what the hell going on? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I just walked last phone. I done told you everybody on the street. I can't give you nothing. <laughs> so look do you know how when you're in the middle of filming Married to Medicine right mm -mm. you can't say anything about what's going on I so, say everything no, no 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 when you guys are filming before it airs that's what I'm saying oh got it got it got it yeah I try yeah. to go get in the story right exactly exactly so when the show airs you talk about it all day long which is what we're doing tonight, right? This is the blogs that the man went to jail. Now, what y'all doing? Well, the only thing I will say is we are filming the new season of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Okay. Mm, and it's going to be hype. It's going to be better than Married to Medicine. That's what you're going to say? No, I'm going to say I'm laughing. No, no, no. I don't no. no. want to Martell. That's what it is. I got you. That would be good. Oh. No, hey. You go with anybody. Give him $5. He sure will sleep with him. Uh, I'm just playing. I'm just, it's a joke. Come on, y'all. Y'all gotta know my humor. Y'all know I be playing. They be saying I be telling stories. Listen, I don't be telling stories. I be joking with y'all. I don't know that Carlos is, I mean, uh, Martell is sleeping with what? That's it. I'm like, why am I in it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. There'll be some shit. I'm just joking, y'all. I'm just playing. No. But that's me like a cute couple, don't it? The thing is this, I would never pit two black shows against each other. So Maritime Medicine has its own style and flavor. It's the best show on Bravo that you guys are watching. And Love and Marriage Huntsville is the number one show on own. But we are in the middle of filming. So I want to address this. A lot of people be like, Carlos, you need to like rush to your closet and tell us what's going on. So the thing is this. My shows, when things happen in the blogs or in the in the atmosphere of the world we're filming i am not going to get in trouble by the people who pay me to talk about shows before it airs i will never do it so y'all can stop it now if the show is airing and, and and i do my recaps about huntsville so watch me and dustin ross every saturday we do recaps about huntsville we are filming and there's a lot going on and the only thing i will say to you is you will see everything that's played out. Now, I got a question for you. It ain't about that, but it's in general. Do y'all have an in-house psychologist to come to the scenes and stuff like that? Because the yeah, psychologist, yeah. they called me yesterday, and I ain't never heard from the people before. And they called, told me they got to have psychologists at the reunion. And she had told me something like, whatever y'all say to her, I don't have to, re they not going to play it on TV. I don't trust that shit. But anyway. So every reality show has a psychologist.
physical therapist that's on standby till a reality star needs one, right? So, for example, so, so that's that's just the rule. Whatever show you do, there's somebody that, in case you want to talk to somebody, we have somebody on standby. Now, for a reunion, we have one. We had one for Bell Collector reunion season two because a woman named Letitia Pearson and her husband Glenn, we took a paternity test, and I read the results live at the reunion. Oh wow! So we had a therapist on set at the reunion. Shell things went another way. Now, is the therapist that is going to be on the Marriage and Medicine upcoming reunion, is that for you? Oh, no, 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 no. I think it's for the peoples. Okay, y'all. So there's a, quite a few things significant about that soundbite that I want to get into. Now, first of all, Dr. Heavenly posed the question. At this point, I am convinced that any uh, podcast live that Carlos makes on YouTube, um, any huge bloggers that uh, speak on Martell at this point, I am convinced that there is some pre-producing going on. I think that he did say to her, okay, look, I'm going to address this right before we get into the Married to Medicine recap. And then he can use the Married to Medicine recap as a buffer for them not to stay on Martell's arrest very long, but then pivot to what they normally do on Monday nights. And that's recap the latest episode of Married to Medicine. Uh, the Probably the most authentic part of that exchange is Dr. Heavenly admitting that after she spoke up for Martell last week, last Thursday, that people were coming for her saying that, you know, she was sticking up for a man. She did not say what it was for. And I feel like that's another hint of these two pre-producing and Carlos guiding the conversation on this. She did not say, you know, the people came for me because I was speaking up for a man who's been accused of trying to carry out revenge P against his ex-wife. She did not say that part. She just said, you know, they were coming for me. Now, I do think what another possible hint of sincerity was when she said, well, they're saying he went to jail. You know, she was like playing dumb and he would not say you know, what the charges are for. And if you were watching this live, because I'm giving you a still shot, a still of the two of them, when she made the joke that Martel will sleep with anyone for $5, Carlos's smile went away. He was frowning and he became stiff. He wouldn't move. And Dr. Heavenly peaked his body language. And that's why she said, you know, I'm just making a joke. I find it so interesting that as soon as someone clowns Martel, he, Carlos, he not only gets offended, but the offense doesn't even have to show up verbally. It shows up in his physicality. You know, he literally stopped moving and the smile left his face. Like, oh my gosh, he favors Martel so much. And it is the same resentment that you can have. I use this example on my video from early, early this morning on your job when you know someone is a low performer, but they may be Caucasian or they may be related to someone in management and, you know, that they're just protected on the job. That's what this reminds me of with Carlos and Martel. So um, he actually used the excuse, Carlos did, saying that, you know, Love and Marriage Huntsville season seven is filming right now. And if you checked out Melody's IG stories today, that was one of the stories that she posted, you know, about them filming. And so I posed the question in the chat because he said he's not going to speak on anything that's being filmed. So it sounds like they're going to acknowledge the revenge P during season seven, which was my guess. But I posed the question in Dr. Heavenly's chat. Why can't you release a statement not saying that you're you don't condone the alleged revenge P? He may not have seen my question. I did put three red exclamation marks after it to make it noticeable. Dr. Heavenly's chat was moving fast, 
But um, I did ask that question. Like, it's one thing if you're not going to speak on something that you all are filming. I get that in theory. But Revenge P is such a serious, disturbing crime that affects people that at one time was in love with the person that they decided to do the tape with or send pictures to. I feel like Carlos could write up a statement and post it to his IG stories saying that he does not condone revenge P and he is sorry for everyone affected. He could do that. There's nothing wrong with that. That's called being human. Being human is not just the mistakes we make, but it's the empathy that we show as well. So um, I think Carlos thinks that by him talking that little tidbit about Martel's arrest on Dr. Heavenly's channel, I think that he thinks in his mind he can say, well, technically, I did talk about the revenge P. Technically, I did acknowledge Martel's arrest for the revenge P because I talked about it on Dr. Heavenly's YouTube channel. I said that I can't talk about it because it's being filmed. So, you know, he may play the semantics game. So, and it's, it's another thing that was very interesting to me was Carlos mentions having a boss. Now, when Dr. Simone referred to him as a blogger a week ago, Carlos was saying that he owns Kingdom Reign Entertainment and it is a multi-million dollar company. When it comes to speaking out on Revenge P, he not only says that he doesn't want to speak on something that they're filming, he says that he'll get in trouble with the people who pays him if he speaks on something that's being filmed. Oh, so now you have a boss and they pay you. But just last week, you know, you're you own this multi-million dollar company. OK, Carlos, you're not fooling anyone. And Dr. Heavenly asked Carlos if they have a psychologist because she got a call from one saying that, you know, I guess they're going to be present at the reunion because of things that will be talked about. Dr. Heavenly says that she's never gotten a call from like the in-house psychologist before for the show. I totally don't believe that. <laughs> maybe or maybe if she's never heard from the psychologist, she has to have heard from HR. You know, with saying your mama to Mariah so many times. I don't know. I'm just making a joke. But uh, Carlos actually said yes, that every single reality TV show, they have a psychologist on standby. And then this Negro had the nerve to say that on Bell Collective season two, when Letitia and Glenn had their fake storyline about a paternity test for when Glenn used to cheat on Tisha, um, he read the results and they had a psychologist on hand in case someone would need some therapy. Do you have psychologists on hand to meet with the cast of Love and Mary Chunsville if stuff goes left? Because when Tisha said to Stormy, go pop some pills, there should have been one on handy, on hand, on standby in case Stormy needed to talk with someone if she was traumatized by that comment. And we all know uh, who needs one every day, 24-7. So I just find that to be so interesting how he skirts around stuff. It is infuriating because you nor I am stupid. Absolutely not. So I want to say this, Dr. Heavenly and Carlos, they were definitely trying to put this narrative out in all of the viewers' ears about Sweet Tea from Mary to Medicine. You know, they're concerned about her. And then Dr. Heavenly brought up a psychologist, you know, and um, so now that Sweet Tea, you know, has talked about Dr. Heavenly's marriage, she flipped it. She used what Dr. Heavenly would always use on Mariah and said, mention her mama. I know she mentioned Dr. Heavenly's mama in hell in the same sentence, but she said she talked about her mama. She talked about her husband and she talked about Carlos King. They were putting this narrative out there that they are concerned about her. And, you know, I just kind of feel like, well, I'm going to actually play this soundbite from Carlos and then I'm going to piggyback off of what he says in my own way. Here we go. That was sad. I'm telling you, watching that video, I was really like, this isn't fun. Because, listen, you can read me all you want to. You know me. I don't care. I find it funny. Like, okay, 
I, I, that was good. Only if it's good. Don't read about something that ain't true. I'm not irrelevant, and my shows ain't struggling. So I thought it was funny, right? But then reads aren't funny when they're lies. Absolutely. Right? So you're calling me irrelevant and struggling. My shows are struggling. Those are lies. So that's why it's not funny. What, what you did was you read the comments of my haters, and you decided to repeat what you saw or somebody on your cast feeds you lines and they tell you what to say about I it. think somebody on our cast definitely feeds her lines. I definitely think somebody. I think that when she fucked up the thing, I don't think she was supposed to say your mama in hell. I think they told her to go on and say your mama before heavenly say your mama. But when you say your mama in hell, that take it to a different level and then, you know, it went too far to the left. But anyway, like I said, Married in Medicine has to stay fun and funny and fun. We can have the drama, but if it gets too dark, we don't want it. We don't want it, and and that's why I'm not ever going to talk about anything outside of what I see in the show when it comes to her. But when it comes to Dr. Damon, I have to say that, and the point I was making, not about Damon, well, I'm sorry, Dr. Damon, was respectful cheating and disrespectful cheating, because there's a lot of women watching this and what I, what I will say as somebody like you who's been with the same person for years, cheating is not a deal breaker for me if, if you don't have one side piece that you're constantly seeing. Okay, so they were, you know, Carlos was talking about, you know, Sweet Tea's comments. He was saying that he doesn't like it when people try to shade someone and it's untrue. He says, then it's not fun. And I agree, Carlos, for once with you, when boundaries are crossed and it appears that some of the cast members are unsafe, you know, um, or certain serious topics of life are not discussed on a show like Revenge P, that takes away the fun of it. That's why you have viewers of Love and Marriage Huntsville who adore Melody Cherie. They support her. They support her businesses and they want to see her win and they boycott the show. They love her. And at the same time, they boycott the TV show because they cannot stand the way that you let the Scots um, not share their true reality. You don't acknowledge some of the, the serious issues that, in our opinion, Martel has, and you skirt around it. Just for the visual of seeing Dr. Heavenly say Martel will sleep with anyone for $5, how uh, Carlos instantly gets mad, and in his physicality, it shows up. If y'all were to go back and watch that live tonight, just for that part alone, like if you question that he favors Martel, that questioning will go away and be replaced with confirmation that he totally favors Martel. But yeah, when it's not fun, then it, it goes to another level, Carlos. Absolutely. Like you should look inward and reflect. And I know you can't control people's behaviors. You cannot control him sending that text to Melody allegedly and threatening with revenge P allegedly, but you pretending like it does not exist and then saying you're not going to talk about it because it's being filmed for the show and you'll get in trouble with your boss. I just feel like that's not really manning up about something that is that can be so devastating to a person if they are exposed that way. So I want to hear from you all. You know, what do you think? I can't imagine. Like, I think like uh, Melody is such a champion about it. Um, I think that she is a high performer and she performs like us on our corporate jobs when there's just so much that you can experience and you just learn to compartmentalize, you focus on your blessings, you focus on the positives and each day you go into your job and you perform well so that you can continue to pay the mortgage and the utilities on time and um, in her instance, take care of her beautiful kids and, you know, say in your 401k you know what i'm saying like she she looks at it that way and she just keeps it moving 
but definitely hit the like button on this video. It is a free way of supporting the channel. I thank you all so much for watching. I truly appreciate your support. And please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. That would be awesome. Well, I hope your Monday is went well. If it was a little rocky, I know Tuesday will be better for you. Keep that positive mindset. Say your affirmations in the mirror. Um, you, I love, trust, and accept myself. I like myself because I'm a good dancer. I'm a strong writer, whatever it is. And we're going to have a terrific Tuesday. And I will talk with you all soon. Bye.